So sometimes you get your best guitars when people are just desperate. And I gotta tell you, I saw this guitar online and someone had advertised it as a Gibson J200, which is one of the most copied, bullshit, fake guitars all over the place. And when I got the pictures of this guitar, I said, there's something fishy about it. All J200s have binding. And there's some other little tells on this guitar that made me go, this looks like it's not a J200. One of the things I actually ended up being, well, first off, I'm right about the, the binding, but one of the things I was wrong about, I was like, this seems like an exceptionally nice spec for a J200 that was made in 2001 that wasn't a custom shop because if anyone knows Gibsons, a lot of the Gibsons from this time period uh, didn't have the best woods unless you play, paid a lot of money. So a lot of J200s are super, super plain backs. So if you get one with a really nice back, it's not unusual, but it's not common. I called Gibson and I said, how could that be a J200? And they say, there's no such thing, but there's something called the J150. Basically is now being dubbed the J200 standard. The exact same thing as a J200 except without binding. They sold it for maybe a few hundred dollars less at one point, but they're very, very, very rare. I um, go to this guy's house and first off, this guy, he lived on like the eighth floor. I got to his place, it was creepy, there was dogs barking everywhere, it smelled weird, total hoarderness, and then he brought me to this room with a giant Apple computer and a bunch of beautiful Gibsons. And one of those beautiful Gibsons was this guitar. And he wanted like, I wanna say $1,500 for it, which is completely fair, completely fair. And I said to him, this thing must be fake. You know, I promise you, I bought it, it's real. I'm like, it's not a J200. He goes, oh, 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 yeah, it's a, it's a J150. I'm like, so you had me come fucking down here telling me it's a J200. And the J1, what the fuck is a J150? He's like, it's basically the same. I'm like, that's like a bait and switch, bro. I don't dig that at all. Now, knowledge is power. I knew that a J150 was basically what's now a J200. Standard. And we also know from my previous comments that having a nice back is really nice. So I said, you know what? Listen, man, I believe it's a real Gibson, but it's not a J200. It says J150 right the fucking side. I was willing to give you 1500 because it was a J200. It's a J150. I'll give you $1,100 for it. Guy's like, no, man, I can't do that. I'm into it way more. I'm like, all right, I gotta go. I'm gonna go walk through all your hoarding, your fucking 73 dogs. And this guy's like, I need a car. My car shit the bed. Kind of looks a little bit like Jabba the Hutt. Like he was like one of those like computer programmers like, ah, chasing after me. And I was like, oh, 1100 bucks. Fine! I played a whole ton of J200s. I've actually had a few of them. None of them sound as nice as this, and none of them have had a back as nice as this. Now, I have plenty of guitars with nicer backs, but not Gibsons. And... I say that because actually for my friend's wedding, Nuno played that song and I was supposed to provide the guitar. And I, g I gave him the Gibson, the first thing he said to me is, oh Gibson. But then he played it and it sounds awesome. And I gotta tell you, it's one of the best versions of more than words I'd ever heard. Then I had my buddy in Germany do this Banksy inlay because I like it to be a little bit different. So I did keep the original truss rod cover, but I also put the Banksy one because this is my guitar and I don't ever plan on uh, trading it. And the fact that Nuno played on it and the fact that it's just so beautiful and it sounds so nice in the story, this will always be my J200 that's really just a J150. It's really just a J200 standard. Why don't you smash that subscribe button already?